best kept secrets in jig fishing is using scent. Uh, what a lot of people overlook is that these fish are still reactionary scent biters, even if it's a twitching jig. So what we have here is a couple different products from Procure. We have some of the Procure krill, which we'll use on these actual twitching jigs with this deer hair, and excuse me, the rabbit hair. So with these, you're gonna wanna use this krill powder. We take it here, we're gonna open this up. This is nice and stinky. And this krill is exactly some of the stuff that they eat in the ocean. So it actually entices that natural bite when these fresh coho come in the river. But we got a couple of twitching jigs here. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a couple of these out. What I'm gonna do here is you keep this little baggie in your backpack. You're gonna take this, you're gonna add some of this krill powder right on into it. And you're just gonna take and shake that up. You see how it starts getting all pulled in between all the rabbit fur there and it gets all over that jig. So that thing will hold scent for a good 15, 20 casts until you maybe want to do it again. And then you can just put this stuff right onto that jig as well. Another one that we have here that works great with these either rabbit fur jigs and or bucktail or some other sort of natural material is just water soluble. This fish oil sand shrimp comes in anise plus a different a lot of different scents that it comes in that really work well for coho but this stuff is a must-have in the bag whether you be salmon steelhead or any kind of fishing on the river when you have these light delicate materials you need this stuff so that it doesn't weigh down the material and take away that natural flow another great little trick to have in your bag is this super sticky sauce made by Procure this stuff we have here is anise which is one of my favorite I love anise for any species what we're going to do here is we're going to put it on a plastic, on this hoochie here. It works great on wigglers, it works great on hoochies, it works great on anything that doesn't have natural material, like deer hair or rabbit fur. So what we're going to here, we've got this plastic hoochie, this super sticky sauce goes right on it. What we're going to do, whether you put this hoochie on a jig head or whether you rig it up, Carolina rigged like we showed you earlier, you take that super sauce, you rub it right on that plastic, and the nice part about this stuff is it really clings on. So that's going to stay on there for 20, 30, 40 casts and you're gonna have that anisent fishing with that hoochie all day long. All right, so one thing, you know, Jordan, that people, including myself, tend to forget about is scenting twitching jigs. And is it necessary? I don't really know, but why the hell not? Yeah, right? exactly. I think it's a secret a lot of people didn't want to give up at some point, you know. Yeah. It's an, it's an extra edge. It's a lot a lot of times on the river you need just something else. So, it's a great technique. It's a great trick to have up your sleeve and it's something you always want to remember. And that was cool in this in that in that series that you just showed. There's lots of different ways to do it. You yeah. can use the gels, you can use the powders, you can use any of the different scents out there that Procure makes or if you have another brand that you love, which you should Procure you should be Procure. Yeah. No, but yeah, there's tons of different ways to do scents. Later on, if you guys stick with us, we might get into talking about some bait too because there is some little tricks that you can use actually using bait on yeah. your twitching jigs that I've learned from a few anglers out there. So yep, if you want to know about those, you got to hit this little subscribe button that pops up right here. And if you wonder why I ask you guys every single damn time why, to hit, why I want you to hit that subscribe button, because we're making these videos for all you guys and gals out there, and if you don't hit subscribe, and you don't turn on the little bell notification, you're not gonna know when we put out a new video. You're never gonna know, you're gonna be behind the curve. You're gonna be behind the curve. So please hit the subscribe button. Video number five, the last part of this whole thing is actually getting on the water and fishing it. Yep, this is the fun one. This, this is, is why one. everybody wants to you do You hook it. some fish, I hear. Oh, that's good. You hook some fish. Yeah, so that's fun. Make sure you subscribe. Again, hit the subscribe button, because video number five is launching tomorrow. This is Jordan with 168 Fishing Adventures. We're excited to bring these videos to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the river.